Hi folks, Mikey Bly here, and <laughs> we're back with our strange new friend in Chromatopes. <laughs> we nearly drowned. That's the thing that happened, but apparently we didn't. But now we, we, we actually have a human to interact with, other than Izzy, who, yeah, trust issues there. But we won't go into those right now. Um, let's, let's, see, let's see what our friends have got to say. Shall we? Um, are you dead? Almost, but not quite. Just let me, yeah, just turn off me a glass of water, okay? I'm good for a while. I'm not thirsty. I'm coughing up water? Oh, that's right, the floor flooded. Oh, man, I'm soaked. Oh, that is not a fun scenario. <laughs> Who's this girl? How is she alive in here? Did she... save me? Don't panic. It's, it's all okay. Y you're okay. Okay, wait. On the back of her hand. What is that? Blue. We went to the blue floor, remember? Maybe the oxygen cut off to the brain. <laughs> fuzzy, fuzzy, I'm all fuzzy. The blue tattoo. Exactly like the black one I have on my hand. This girl, she must be a blue mark. Whatever that means. Because the reflection kind of matches up now. It didn't before. Her eyes were different in the reflection. Ah. Maybe it's just, it just an oversight. Still weird. I, I'm not dead, I think. I mean, not out there yet anyway, at least. Oh, good. I'm, uh, glad you're not dead. Well, thank you. Did your very cute hair clip you've got going on there. So am I, stranger. So am I. Uh, did you save me? Uh, oh, well, I mean, I was struggling and I, I couldn't leave you out there. And when you weren't breathing... I just thought rescue breathing might help. Do you give me a mouth to mouth? Is that what happened there? Yeah, uh, thanks. I was really in trouble, I think. I still don't really know what happened if I died in my coma dream. If you die in the coma dream, you die in real life. Of course, I would never just abandon someone to die. So I'm guessing the blue tattoo people are more be empathetic, more um, um, the feelings, more uh, in tune with, I don't know, something like that. I don't know what to say now. The quiet girls aren't volunteering any more information either. What a surprise, the quiet girl doesn't want to talk. Do you m mind a question? Oh, well, okay then, yeah, cool. I was totally out of things to say, so I'm glad you piped up. Oh, go ahead, anything to break the silence. Not sure how helpful I'll be, though. I was just wondering, uh, uh, where are you from? Your Mandarin is so good, I... Oh, in here we can all understand each other's languages? Now that's interesting. There's a nice little extra twist. My Mandarin? What the heck is this girl talking about? Okay, just, 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 just think. Just think for a second, Leroy. We're in a coma dream. With lots of other people who are in coma dream. Language is a universal thing here, I guess. We all speak whatever we want to hear. Right? We all have babelfish implants, alright? Just just go with it. We're both speaking English. Obviously. Maybe maybe she's not all there. I'm sorry, I don't get it. Mandarin? I don't speak Mandarin. Never spoken anything but English my whole life. But, but, what? Uh, but you're speaking it right now, though. Yeah, but you're speaking English right now. Oh no, what a quandary. This makes absolutely zero sense. Well, it doesn't, really. It's a common dream. And, and anything makes sense. Anything goes. Okay, um, there's a lot I'm not sure about, but I can definitely tell you that I'm speaking English. And so are you. I b 
believe you. I just... Well, never mind, I guess. Oh, don't ruin the moment. Poor girl was trying to connect with you. She just really seemed to be crazy. Huh. Maybe that's something to do with this world we're in. Aha! Finally! Finally piecing something obvious together. Oh, that might be the first time Leroy's managed to do that. This is just a guess. Uh, I have no proof, okay? But I think somehow this world has the power to make us understand each other. Even though you're speaking English and I'm speaking Mandarin. Evidently something weird's going on where we can understand each other even though we don't understand how we can understand each other, all right? I get it. Maybe it's c kind of like the water. Hmm, she goes silent again, not offering any further explanation of her statement. I think I'll have to steer the conversation myself at this rate. I think you should. You're the grown, gr you're the grown person here. You're the adult. You should do some adulting. You know, be, be the be the mature person. Well, actually, I was wondering, what's your name? Oh no, uh, I'm sorry. I I forget to tell you the only thing I remember. It's it's Quentin. Quentin, which is classically a boy's name. So that's an intriguing little thing. Oh! <laughs> Leroy stole right in there. Isn't Quentin a guy's name? It's certainly not Chinese, but it would be rude to say anything. It, it would. I was just thinking out loud. I, I, I don't judge people for whatever their name is. And I don't, I don't know. I just, it was just a curiosity. It's just a query. Nobody gets to choose their name. It's not her fault, after all. Anyway... Nice to meet you then, uh, Quentin. My name is Leroy. So, what do you mean, like the water? Oh yeah, just, just push the issue. We read the notes outside, right? Quentin's obviously an, uh, an, uh, an amalgamation, uh, a form of the name we saw on the clipboard, the chart. Uh, how to put this? Uh, uh, well, the w water isn't totally real. What are you saying? It's not real. I almost drowned in it a few minutes ago. It, if you don't know that it's not real, then you could probably drown, yes. But for some reason, if you just think really hard and stay calm, you can breathe in the water. So, in Quentin's coma dream, and had something to do with drowning, um, but, Fighting back against that is to just believe that you can breathe in water, and that is how Quentin gets out of this alive. Quentin's going to survive this because he's learned, to, she's learned, sorry, to fight the water. You've just got to re remember you're not really drowning. I know that probably doesn't make any sense, but I've done it a few times. Hmm. Weird. So all you have to do is believe in your mind that you can breathe underwater and suddenly you can? This is insane. There's no way. Got to learn to start accepting things for what they are in this place, Leroy, really. You've just, got to, you've just got to expand your mind a little, man. Forgive me if that's a little hard to believe. I know. I know. But, but this place isn't normal. I mean, we're talking right now, after all. She's right. Not sure I get why, but maybe this world is influenced by our perception? That's probably spot on. That's exactly what it is. Whoa! Ooh! Quentin must be braver than I thought, though. To think she's gone back out there, somehow breathing underwater through the sheer force of will? It's definitely inspiring. Did I add some new cards to my deck? True. Uh, anyway. So what are you doing here if you can't drown outside? Why haven't you left? I... I can't get out. Why not? Actually, since you probably don't know, there'll be an ambulance outside at the top of every hour. Supposedly. If we can get on it, we can leave. Okay, well... Maybe that's not exactly what Izzy told me, but... 
But honestly, why Quinn wouldn't be able to just get on the ambulance with us? Yay! We have to go and save people! Get as many people in the ambulance as possible! Ambulance party! I doubt that's some kind of magic force field or something. Or maybe this place has some way of stopping people who haven't passed their test from getting to the ambulance. Right, because I've got the black tattoo. Like as he said, I don't have to do anything to get out. I can just leave whenever I want. Everybody else, I guess, has to do something or get past something or defeat something to get out here of this place. Reverse their mistake, right? R really? An ambulance? Uh, yeah, not to get your hopes up or anything. Um, I mean, I don't know if it's true, but we should try. If you're really telling the truth and we don't drown, that is. I'm t telling the truth. Come with me. Okay then, I guess. Does this thing lead outside? Can I just say that Quentin is one of the most adorable characters? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yes, it's what we came through to get here. S sorry it's so tight in here. I think it was meant for one person. I just get all embarrassed. <laughs> sorry, it's so cute. We're pretty far down in here, so, so we need to move slowly and be mindful of air and water pressure. What for? I figured you'd want out here as soon as possible. Well, if the pressure around us changes too quickly, we might get decompression sickness. Uh, m maybe you've heard of it? The bends? Oh, I've definitely heard of the bends. And not just via the Radiohead album. I definitely know of that. Yeah. Wait. Is that why we're in a pressure chamber? You know what this is? Mostly? I was an EMT, apparently. I guess. I don't remember everything, but it seems like I still know a bit. Oh, well, well, yes. This is a chamber that controls both water and air pressure. It's necessary since we're so far down. How far down are we? Actually, come to think of it, I don't really have a gauge for what depth would count as far down. How far down is far down? Hundreds of feet? Thousands of feet? Tens of thousands of feet? Oh, is it, sorry, fathoms? Fathoms, that's the correct terminology for being underwater, right? Uh, um, well, an average recreational scuba diver achieves depths of 40 metres. Right, so we're talking metres, not feet or fathoms. Okay, cool, none of the things that I said. The current world record for a depth achieved and survived by a human is 300 metres, or about 1,000 feet. Ah, now we're talking feet, so... Cool. Alright, now I've got a bit of a feeling. Gases commonly used for scuba diving become too dangerous to use at about 2,000 metres under the surface. All gases become too toxic to breathe at 3,000 metres. Quentin knows a hell of a lot about scuba diving. Is that how the coma happened? She trying to break the record for the scuba diving depth? That'd be one hell of a way to nearly die. No, thank you. I, I don't, I can't cope with being underwater. Not in any capacity, not even when I'm in the bath. No, nope. don't, just don't. This is gonna make me really anxious. And all gases become lethal to the human body at 4,000 meters in depth. But by my estimates, based on the species of aquatic life I saw outside, this school is currently at 1,000 meters and sinking. Wait, school? Wow. You seem to know your stuff too. Good on you. Uh, at least one of us does. Well, I, uh, yeah, yeah, I guess. That's pretty cool. Oh, another card. For a girl in mortal danger, Quentin sure is calm. Can't help but envy her. You need to hide behind thing like that. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but something she just said is bothering me. The school? About the school? Or the fact that we're sinking? Both of those things should be kind of worrying. You said that this school is sinking? I'm pretty sure we're in a hospital. Oh, but no. I thought it looked like a school. Maybe to different people it looks like different things. Because I was in a hospital when I got into my accident. Because I worked at the hospital, maybe? It was kind of hard to see near the elevator, but I was in a hospital for sure, right? Well, maybe it doesn't really matter. 
let's just get moving. Okay, so, uh, anyway, here we go. Half of me is worried that you can't actually breathe the water, but she's in here too. There's no way she'd be bluffing at this point. Remember that you can breathe. You can breathe, Leroy. Oh, more cards. I wish I could be as relaxed as Quentin looks with water rising past my neck. Ah, I can't do this. I can't. The water is so cold. It's like my lungs are freezing solid. <gasps> of course. This was a crazy idea. Why did I agree to this? D don't hold your breath, Leroy. Just breathe. See? Wow. Quint is totally fine. Okay, maybe this isn't impossible. Use her as inspiration. Come on. Wait, how can I even hear a voice underwater? Because you're not really underwater. It's a dream. You're not really drowning. You're not really lying in a hospital bed surrounded by water. Come on. No point in trying to figure that one out. Just breathe, Leroy. All right. All right. Think I'm okay? You did it then. Uh, now, if we wait like this for a little while, we can go. Hey, uh, sorry for the random question, but why did we have to go slowly again? I mean, if the water is imaginary, isn't the pressure imaginary too? Well, well once you get used to breathing water, it never gets any harder to keep breathing. But, but because this place is sinking, the pressure will get worse. The fact that the pressure is imaginary is the only reason we're alive right now. But even imaginary pressure can build up and become impossible to bear. Whoa, why is that sentence in blue and so much heavier than the other? Oh, blue tattoo. Blue. Imaginary pressure can build up and become impossible to bear. Imaginary pressure can build up, become impossible to bear. Oh, is that a little insight into Quentin's psyche there? The pressure's not the only thing, actually. Not the only thing? What do you mean? Are we talking monsters? Because I have dealt with monsters. I have been there and handled that. Uh, uh, never mind. I'm starting to notice a pattern where Quentin just stops talking. Right before sharing crucial information. Goddamn standard NPC. Do I have to complete a quest first? I'll admit that being shy can be endearing, but this is not the time. Come on. What's up? Did you... Maybe see anything weird on your way here? Well, Quentin, let me count them, shall I? Weird things that I have seen today. It's quite a list. You ready? Uh, yeah. Unfortunately. I keep having to deal with these freaky monsters. So you did see them. What should we do if we run into more? I've got my cards. Don't worry about me. I've got a full deck. It's all good. I guess we don't really get a choice then, right? We fight them. Two is better than one, at least. <laughs> right. Maybe with your help, I might actually be able to fight them off. So the monsters were what was holding Quentin back. Makes sense. Because I think that's probably what... That's your demons, right? That's, it's, is that what it is? Is it literally boiled down to that? These are your demons and you've got to fight them? Let's do it. Dun, dun, dun. Do we get to do... Ooh, the sinking school grounds. Right. Okay. Whoa. What the heck? Where? Where are we? We have entered Quentin's own individual coma dream. Leroy, that's what's happened. Everybody dreams differently. Not everybody is in a hospital. I, it, it's fairly easy to establish that fact now. Okay. We can do this. We can do this. Hang on. Quentin, where are we? This isn't where I came from. What do you mean? This is where you... Where I found you, though. No way! I was in a hospital. I'm sure of it. Not this. This is a school. Just like you said. Why would you expect anything different? D did you think she was lying? Leroy, you need to get with the program, my dude, and quickly. So, so you don't know the way out from here? Sorry. I've never even seen this place before. Oh. I disappointed her. A crushing pain in my chest of disappointing somebody. 
after I said all that stuff about escaping. Hey, maybe we can take a look around. Could be a different way out somewhere around here. The, there isn't. I, I already checked. All I could find were nine club rooms among the three floors I could get to. And I th think I saw a bulletin board upstairs. Ah, it's like a hint text. Okay. Every other hall and stairway is blocked. And I can't get into any of the rooms on my own because the, the doors are all... She stopped talking again. But I know exactly what she was going to say. Being guarded by those monsters. Could we escape by breaking a window and swimming to the surface or something? I saw something out there in the open water. Watching me. The ultimate demon. Size of a whale. Whoa. Oh, if you look out a window for a long enough time, you'll see it. Oh, thanks. I think I'll take a pass on that one. She doesn't offer any further description of it. Great. That only makes it sound scarier. It doesn't look like it can get us in here, but if we try to leave... So we're trapped. What can we do? Look around! You already said we should look around! Let's get through the doors that have been guarded by the monsters and hunt for clues! We're to be rescued? That ain't an option. Izzy said this would happen. She said that I could lose my chance to wake up. I should have listened. There's gotta be something else we can do. You said you haven't checked all the individual rooms yet, right? Right. Then let's check them out together. Stay close to me. Uh, oh, okay. Thanks. Hey, don't mention it. I'm not going to tell you to wait here, am I? The school within Quentin's mind is sinking. As it continues to sink at the abyss, depth will permanently increase. Every 1,000 meters, your maximum state of mind while exploring the sink. Oh my god! That's a time limit! State of mind affects how much time you get to start with. Dirt at depth will not increase during dialogues, so take your time reading. Good! That's at least something that's good to know. Okay, uh, wait, I need to, no! No! Let me save! Okay, let's, we can't go that way. Oh my god, that depth. Um, do you want to try this door, or? Yes, let's just do every door as we come to it. Yeah, let's do it, boy! Every door. Taking every, when you explore another visitor's mind, they will join you in any battles you encounter. In battle, you will automatically alternate between drawing from the deck you assembled and your partner's deck. Visitors' decks will usually be weak against nightmares from their own mind, so if you are having trouble winning battles, try exploring other minds first. This is the first mind I've encountered, though, so... Accommodate your partner's weaknesses to survive. This is so cool! This is such a cool little card battle system! So when we go to someone else's mind, Quentin's deck could be just as strong as my deck, but in this mind, in Quentin's own mind, her deck will be weaker. Ooh, cards collected from a visitor are likely to be drawn inverted while fighting nightmares from their own mind. Oh! Inverted cards almost always have negative effects, but all cards, no matter the colour, deal damage to enemies. Okay, that's a good thing. So, that's a good example. The clock one upside down means it takes time away. Avoid building decks with cards that match the colour of the world you're currently exploring. So, can I just use my own deck then? Can I just use my own deck? And not use any of Quentin's cards? Take a breath! <gasps> It's all right, we can breathe under this water. It's not real water, remember? We're fine. Let's do this. What have we got? Uh-oh. Okay, I'm trying to use... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Time gained. Oh. Oh, we've got... Oh, cool, we've got gained. Oh, time lost. Can we please... Get some other... Oh god, uh, how do I reset my deck? Shit! Stop! Jeez! How many hits is it going to take? God damn it! Ah! Stop stressing me out! Shit! Shit! 
Oh damn it, this sucks. Oh my god, we did it. Oh jeez, that was so stressful. Ah! <laughs> I wasn't expecting that to be so difficult. Ah! But we did it. Quick, let's have a look. Let's see. Student council. Note, it's not a regime if we don't have any power. <laughs> is that it? That's all that's in here. Damn it. Oh, Quentin, can you speed up a wee bit, please? Great. Okay, cool. Are these stairs? Okay, is there any more rooms, though? Upstairs, downstairs, in room 202. Oh my god, there's so much. Wait. I'm so stressed out about this area. Let's do one more fight. Um, let's see if we can do this again here. Maybe we should just... Maybe I'll build... Maybe I'll put 10... Just to see what happens, because... Even when I just used my own deck, those blue cards were still there. So let's just see what happens if we use a few cards from the other deck. See if it makes a difference. I don't really know. I guess you've got to be quick. Try and find time gains rather than time lost, right? Uh, no! Stop stressing me out! Gotta keep going! Ah, shit. Don't stress out that last card! Damn it! Come on! Shit! Taking all my cards out. No! Yes! Okay, that one went a bit better. Oh boy! It's, it's really, you've got to really think on your feet, and you've got to be quick with using the cards too, and it's about using the right cards at the right times. There's so much to this. But I like it. I do. I, I love the battle system. Uh, surfing club. We can't draw. <laughs> Damn, another room with nothing in it. I'm sorry, Quentin. We're not really getting anywhere, are we? We're okay. We've, 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 we've still got plenty of space and time. Three, room, three rooms on each floor, right? We should, we should do the last room. Just, just, to, just, to, just to finish it off, this first floor. Okay, let's do it. Yep. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to stick with this deck. Because it worked okay. It might not work okay every time, but it did alright last time, so let's try it again. I'm just going to be on the ball. I've got to use the best cards first and check the clocks. So yeah, I want that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. Oh god, lose time, lose time. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, come on! I didn't barely get time! Shit. Eh, eh, eh. Ah, shit. Don't. Oh, it tells you which ones are going to be affected. Oh. Right, that's good. So we just duh, 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 duh. No! Okay, come on. Come on. Come on. Got to Hit. Regardless. There we go. All right. I'm getting the hang of this card battling system. Let's get in here. What's in here? Boating club. Who drew this? Oh, that's a very nice looking boat. Again, though, nothing here. So it's it's nice though to see the the efforts of the the students, I suppose. So should we go downstairs first or upstairs first? Maybe we should go downstairs first. I think. Quentin, you need to pick up. I don't want to leave you behind. I feel guilty leaving you behind. Ah. Okay, downstairs. So, what we'll do next time... Okay, we can't go to the right. That's good to know. But we can go this way. To 103, 2 and 1. Okay, so that's what we'll do... Next time. This is a cool game. I love it. So when you get new characters, when you save each person from their coma dream... 
you get their cards, you get their deck to play with. And there's so many different combinations you'll be able to use as you go further through the game. Ah! Oh, this is great. It just gets cooler and cooler. And the... I love the characters. The characters are really growing on me. I mean, is he still... Okay, I'm still up in the air about is he, but Quentin's a cool character. I love it so much. And I love us, even though we're still walking around like this. You know, we know we can breathe. I guess it's getting to us still. It's the mental block of it, right? But this is awesome. I'm definitely going to come back and play more of this demo. I really don't know how long the demo's going to be. Maybe we only get to do Quentin's little story and then that's the end of the demo. Um, there's a lot of floors on that elevator to visit. So there's going to be lots of levels. This is going to be so good. Oh, man. Okay, all right, I've got to stop fawning. I, I, I could fawn all day. Um, as I've done in previous parts, I will pop a link to this game in the description below. So if you want to go and play the demo yourselves, Oh man, I highly encourage it. This is this is great. This is so good. Um, and uh, before you do, <laughs> go play the demo. Don't forget to want the like button if you're uh, still enjoying my playthrough of Chromatos. Uh, don't forget to want the subscribe button too if you want to hover on back and check out the rest of the demo and the other games that I play. I've been Mikey Bly. And I hope you all have yourselves a fantastic morning, afternoon, evening, or night. And I'll see you all next time around. Bye for now.